This techno phone will blow your mind. You are looking at the Techno Phantom X2 Pro, the first smartphone with a retractable telephoto camera. The lens literally pops out when you want to take a portrait photo. But that's not all. It's pretty much a flagship device with a mid-range price. But does it have what it takes to be a flagship killer? Let's find out. The Phantom X2 Pro is Techno's highest end device, just released alongside the X2, which I also have a review on and will be linked in the description. The last Phantom device we saw was the Phantom X, which was released in 2021. This was announced in December last year, but is officially launching in January 2023. This unit has been with me for almost two weeks, and believe me when I say, Techno went all out with this one. Now, in a time where smartphone designs have mostly peaked, Techno is still trying to push innovation by releasing a device with a retractable camera. Now, you could say Samsung did it first with the S4 Zoom, and that's true, but the Phantom X2 Pro is the first to do it with a portrait lens. I must say the camera bump is massive though. When I first saw the design in pictures, I thought it looked hideous, but now that I have it on hand, it is lovely. I mentioned earlier that it's pretty much a flagship device at mid-range price, and that's because the Phantom X2 Pro is powered by the Dimensity 9000 a 4 nanometer flagship processor. We've always complained of Techno using the lower end of MediaTek's processors, but they really mean business this time. To show just how much of a step up this is from its predecessor, the Phantom X had the Helio G95. That's a massive performance gap. The Phantom X2 Pro also packs the most premium build you'll find on any Techno device, and it's right up there with the major flagships when it comes to design and for the most part, build quality, but we'll get into the details later. The Techno Phantom X2 Pro is retailing for just around 470,000 Naira and the regular X2 goes for about 100k less. I'll also have a video comparing both devices so you can check that out to decide which is the better value. Premium phones come in premium packaging and unlike the smartphone giants, Techno adds all the essential accessories in the box, including this premium case that adds to the style. It has a texture similar to the finish on the rear of the device, but it doesn't offer full protection as it leaves the side exposed but it's too pretty a case not to use. It also has a thoughtful design as the camera part can be pulled out and used as a kickstand. The Phantom X2 Pro comes in two colors, Stardust Grey and Mars Orange, which is the eco-friendly version. That is the one I have here. The back is made of recycled ocean plastic. It feels nice on the hands. It has an aluminum frame and curved Gorilla Glass Victor's protected display. The top and bottom frame is flat. From the bottom frame, you'll notice there's no headphone jack, but there's little to worry since Techno adds a pair of USB-C earphones in the box. The Phantom X2 Pro accepts dual nano SIM cards and there is no slot for an SD card. There's also no stereo speakers here, so we are left with a bottom firing mono speaker. That sounds just okay. There's also no IP rating here, so you might want to be careful about dropping it in water, especially because of that retractable lens. There's no telling what happens if it comes in contact with water, so keep that in mind. Since the retractable telephoto lens seemed to be a major selling point of the Phantom X2 Pro, let's just talk about it. Basically, the device looks normal and the lens only pops out when you select 2.5x or want to shoot portrait from the rear camera. Once you switch from portrait mode, the lens retracts. It doesn't protrude that much, but this gets you 2.5x zoom and can go up to 20x zoom. In a later section of this video, we'll see picture samples from the cameras. But let's talk about something else that should be a major selling point, that is the processor. The MediaTek Dimensity 9000 is probably a Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 equivalent. Now, this places the Phantom X2 Pro in the actual flagship conversation. That combined with 120Hz refresh rate, 12 gigs of RAM, and 256GB of UFS 3.1 storage, and there is no performance use case where you'll find the device unable to cope. It will run smooth and fast as expected of any modern flagship. Even all the more interesting when you realize Techno has finally promised major OS upgrades. Yes, this gets two major OS upgrades and an extra year of security updates. Since it launched with Android 12, we are expecting to see Android 13 and 14 when available. The software though is still typical high OS 12, snappy, feature-packed, highly customizable, but still plagued with bloatware apps that send unsolicited notifications. The UI does give you the option to silence the notifications or you can block it completely. But for a premium device, I think it shouldn't have to show at all, especially from apps I've never opened. We still get Techno's voice assistant, Ella, which works without an internet connection and can help you carry out basic functions. The overall user experience is solid except that the haptic feedback is not great. I actually had to turn it off. The display is curved on both edges, reminiscent of the Phantom X or previous Samsung S-series devices. 
It's a vibrant AMOLED display with 1080p resolution and decent brightness levels, though not as bright as the likes of Samsung or Apple, but bright enough for outdoor use. I'm impressed by the display quality, and the curved edges makes consuming media on this device quite enjoyable. It is nice to operate too as it's very responsive. You also get a responsive optical fingerprint scanner which unlocks the device every time. I've never had it unresponsive and it's a pretty fast one. With this 120Hz refresh rate, you get two other options, either to drop down to 60Hz or set it to adaptive where it automatically switches between 60 and 120Hz as needed by the device. That's probably the best option for longer battery life. It sports a 5160mAh battery which lasts impressively long, enough for at least a day of average to heavy use depending on your use case. Its 45W charger can power it from 0 to 100 in just about an hour. Alongside the high-performing Dimensity 9000 is the Mali G710 GPU. You can expect high-level gaming performance here even with graphics demanding titles. You can play at high graphics and up to max frame rates. Apex Legends is able to play at extreme HD graphics and ultra frame rate. And at no point during any of my gaming sessions have I experienced lags. It maintains consistent 60fps during gameplay. With Call of Duty Mobile, you can play at very high graphics and max frame rates and you will enjoy your gameplay. No stutters or lags. After about 30 minutes of gaming, the device may start to get warm, but nothing abnormal. I notice it does get hotter with Call of Duty Mobile, but not to the point where it actually affects the performance. In summary, when it comes to gaming, the Phantom X2 Pro will not disappoint. It offers the gaming experience worthy of a flagship. As a smartphone that markets its retractable camera as the major selling point, you are definitely going to have high expectations. Aside the 50MP retractable telephoto camera, you also get a 50MP main camera and a 13MP shooter for ultra-wide. It has a 32MP selfie camera which for some reason does not provide a 32MP shooting option. Now from first impressions shooting objects and say the environment, this is quite impressive and I'd say photos come out natural with enough detail. It could use a little bit of vibrance though, but this is satisfactory. The ultra wide captures more details and maintains similar color profile as the main camera. The night shots here do not disappoint. You actually find them well processed, although I think it can still be better. You get the best looking shots from the telephoto camera. The subject separation looks perfect and the background blur is great. By default, portrait mode and selfie has beauty filters you might want to disable if you prefer more natural looking photos. The 10x zoom shot looks decently processed and so does 20x, though I doubt you really need to shoot at 20x. I noticed some focus hunting when trying to shoot objects using the telephoto camera, and it works better with human subjects. This is a review unit, so the final retail software might fix this problem. With that said, the portrait camera actually does not disappoint and you will get really satisfying portraits. For selfies, the Phantom X2 Pro also does great, not the best with skin tones but I'd say does good enough including with portrait selfies. On portrait mode, by default, you don't get blur effects, so you actually have to adjust it a bit. It would be great if by default it has a background blur. Video performance on the Phantom X2 Pro is decent and is able to shoot up to 4K 60fps from the rear camera. However, there's no optical image stabilization like we get on the Phantom X2. You can get ultra steady mode which happens to work with 4K 30fps, but there's a noticeable crop. Okay, what's up YouTube? This is the Techno Phantom X2 Pro shooting from the selfie camera currently 1080p 30fps. Can do 1080p 60, but from the rear cameras can go as high as 4K 60. I'm by the roadside, so it's a bit noisy, but probably be able to use that to test the microphone quality how, how well is it cooking with my voice. It's a 32 megapixel selfie camera. The Techno Phantom X2 Pro is a solid device from Techno and in my opinion, the only thing preventing it from being a real flagship killer is HiOS, but it comes close. It will be exciting to see what future OS upgrades bring to the Phantom X2 series. Its overall performance is flagship level, build quality is solid and the retractable camera I say is innovative. The device has a favorable price point and I can recommend it. The areas where I think Techno still needs to improve is first with the software. It needs to be a lot cleaner. Also for future Phantoms, improved haptics, IP rating and stereo speakers. Now if you'd like to see a review of the Phantom X2, check here and over here will be the comparison between both devices. Peace.